Okay, now this is the next question that I always get from my sisters and my uh, kids when they're trying to do this. Well, Mama, how do I know when it's soft enough? I used all of this. I used one of these. I used my pint of oysters with a pint of water. I used most of this, not all of it, though. So I think if you don't have the uh, drippings, you can. Pro I probably would have used one and a half. A uh, quart of of the stuff of the broth. I put my seasoning. Everything is in here now, and it's mixed up. I didn't have to put any salt. I, I said about the season now, but really and truly, that's for my turkey, because with all of the stuff that they have inside this pre-mixed uh, bread stuffings and broth and all of that, you don't need anything else. And for me to make sure. This is how I make sure it's salty enough. Some people won't might not want to do this, but mm -hmm. good. <laughs> but that's how I make sure if it has enough seasoning in it. Uh, my turkey's over here waiting on me. My chicken parts are boiling. Give me a broth for my for my cornbread dressing. So this is the way it looks. Uh, I'm gonna put my oh I just, I didn't see it, but I went to rinse my hands off again and. I'm tasting my finger. So here is the key. How moist should it be, Mama? How moist? This moist. That's how moist. It should fall out of your hand, but it should be sticky. Well, I thought I dropped it on the floor. <laughs> I didn't. It should be sticky. Now, if you feel like you know, I think I want mine a little drier. You can. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to put maybe another handful of uh, bread in there because that's pretty moist. I think I have some more bread in here. Yes, here we go. So I'm going to put a handful, maybe two handfuls of it. You hold on uh, and we'll see. Maybe I'll let you see me doing the mixture. Let me put this down here. Oh, I think that didn't work. This is gonna work. Oh no! <laughs> I tell you, that's gonna be a messed up video, and I'm not gonna be able to make it over because I'm gonna. But anyway, I'm gonna put. A handful. Wait a minute. I do want you to know you don't want it too, too moist and you don't want it too, too dry. Now that's where we're going to put two, one. Two more handfuls, okay? And that should make it just right. And here we go with the gooey, gooey fun part. Mixing it, mixing it, rolling it, doing it. Okay. Does that feel, how does that feel? Oh, and if you can see, see? That's a good texture. I have one pound of ground meat in here. If you like more of a meaty flavor, I think my mama put more ground meat, but she cooked for a lot of us with 16 brothers and sisters. My mama knows my mother has 16 children. My mother and father has 16 children. So she used a whole lot more, and I think she only used two pounds of ground meat. I have one pound of ground meat in this. So she made about twice as much. So let me wash my hands, and I'll be right back. I don't know if it got picked that up or not, but 
That's a good consistency. You can always make it thicker, but when you dry it, it's going to dry out some when you fry it, okay? So that is what the oyster dressing looks like. Tastes a lot better once it's cooked. So, happy day.